Is security just an illusion? I mean, take this lock as an example. It's definitely locked, nice and secure. However, if I take this little thing here and stick it in there, take this thing, put some tension on it, and then wiggle a little bit, and then it pops right open. All it takes is the right tool and the secure lock easily bypassed. But what about a tool that is uh, more digital, like this guy? What can this guy do? What you're looking at is a live feed from my security camera. It's currently being streamed to my app on my phone and I'm screen recording it. And you can see that it's tracking my movements as I walk around. And now I've got this little device in my hand. I'm going to enable it. As I do that, keep an eye out on my dog, which fortunately came into the picture as I was recording this. So you can see this is happening in real time. And on the top left hand side, you'll see the time. So keep an eye out on that as well. Now watch this. It keeps tracking me and I click. And now it's stopped. Watch the time. There we go. I've just lost 20 seconds of recording because of this device. So how do we get the camera to stop working and we lost those critical 20 seconds? Well, a wireless security camera needs Wi-Fi if you want to be able to control it from the app and receive real-time alerts when it detects movements. And that is the camera's weakest spot that we attacked. I used this device to do something called a de-auth attack, which is like sending a message to the Wi-Fi telling the Wi-Fi to kick everybody off the Wi-Fi network. And it doesn't even need to know the Wi-Fi password to do that. That is a massive Wi-Fi vulnerability. So what I did was not only tell the Wi-Fi to kick everybody off the network, but as long as I was running this attack on this device, no device could automatically reconnect to it. So what's the lesson here? Always have your security camera hardwired wherever possible. And of course, it's not always possible. So if it isn't, please use one of the latest Wi-Fi standards in your camera. Don't go for the cheapest one on Amazon. Now, before somebody loses their minds in the comment, yes, of course, the camera still records the footage locally to a micro SD. And yes, you're going to be able to see it later. But that's not the point. Whilst the deauth attack is happening, you're not going to receive those critical alerts saying someone's in your backyard right now. And that is crazy. And that was just one type of attack. So what else can this little baby do? Well, let me show you. So this is the BLE Shark Nano that was sent to me. This video is not sponsored. They're seeing this for the first time like you are. And don't let this little guy fool you. It's packed with lots and lots of really good security tools. And the fact that it's so tiny basically means it's nice and covert and can be used basically anywhere without drawing too much attention. So let's power up this little baby and then see what we can do with it. Right, so the first thing you're going to notice is a couple of buttons. You've got the middle button, which is a select button, the right button, which is basically means going forward, the left button going backwards. So let's go into Bluetooth. So the first thing I can do is I can spam everything that's around me that's got Bluetooth. I can also target only Android devices if I want to, or can target only iOS devices or only Windows devices. Now, don't think that that was just for fun and has no real value. I mean... Hypothetically, of course, and definitely not something I would ever do. But let's just say I wanted to distract someone. I could spam their phone so that they would look away from their security monitor for a moment as a pure fictional didn't ever happen kind of thing, right? <clears throat> right, moving along, let's go to the next menu, which is Wi-Fi, and you'll see something called the captive portal. Okay, I don't want to break YouTube's terms of service, and I've got to be super careful here, but when it comes to a captive portal, essentially what that is, is a web page. Uh, you know, like the ones that you get at hotels or airports or Starbucks, as an example, where you've got to put in some details before they allow you access into their internet. Same thing here with a captive portal. The only difference is any detail that you put in gets captured by this thing. Right, next up, we have spam APs, which is basically broadcasting a whole bunch of Wi-Fi names, such as this one. This is a good old classic to use. 
You can also do random and you can do funny APs and you get this kind of stuff. Now, would I use this in a professional environment or a hacking environment? Probably not. This is just for good old fun. Okay, moving along. Let's move out of the APs and go into the deauth menu. Remember, that's how we got into that security camera. That's how we managed to knock it offline. And now it's scanning the Wi-Fi networks that are around me. And, oh, look at that. There is a whole bunch of Wi-Fi networks. Doesn't need the password. If I just activated it, it will get people off that network. Deauth checker to see if someone is actually doing that to you. And then next up, we have the evil access points. Now, for legal reasons, I can't actually show this to you, but it's essentially creating a Wi-Fi spot when somebody connects to it. It kind of captures their username and password. I can't show that to you, but it will be available in the next update. All right, moving along to the infrared section, we have TV Be Gone, which is a quick way of spiring off TVs all around you. And you can teach it about new remote controls and use them from this device. Okay, next up, we have Bad Bluetooth. Now, this is actually pretty powerful. It's the ability to send commands from this device to the device that it's paired with, like a phone or a computer. Now it's very easy to walk past somebody's computer that's not locked and quickly pair it or somebody's phone, hey, can I borrow your phone and just pair it with this. And then you can send at a touch of a button, look at this, Windows 11, push a button and then the script just starts to run. Imagine you working on your computer and this starts to happen. Now, obviously this is a fun example, but you can write your own custom scripts. And there are scripts out there that allow you to extract usernames and password. So whilst we're having a bit of fun here with things like beeping or stopping the mouse or a crazy mouse. I mean, this actually made this computer unusable. Look at this. This mouse is bouncing all over the place. I had to reboot in order to get my mouse to work again. So fun and games on the one hand, but in the wrong hands can be pretty devastating effects on this. This is why you always lock your devices and never hand them over because scripts like these do actually exist and that's pretty bad. Okay, so let's go back to the main menu and after the bad Bluetooth, you've got things like games like Flappy Birds and Invaders and Pong and Breakout. This, I suppose, is just fun to pass the time or if somebody says, hey, what are you doing? We say, hey, I'm just playing a game. I don't know what you're on about. It's got apps in it, like keyboard shortcuts, viewers of the text files. It allows you to scroll up and down on your TikToks just with a push of a button from your device. So a little device in the palm of your hands that can do all this is actually pretty powerful. I know someone's going to Karen out in the comments saying, why do they even make these devices? I will say that there's nothing new in this device that you cannot get right now in the market or nothing that you can't really do with a laptop and some hardware that's available over the counter. What they did was package a whole bunch of security tools into a tiny, discreet little package, which basically means you never know if someone like me could be hanging around. So never, ever, ever connect to a Wi-Fi hotspot. Always switch off your Wi-Fi and your Bluetooth when you're not using it. To see exactly why, uh, check out this video right over here. And a quick favor, if I may, before you head out, give the video a quick thumbs up to like it. And I'm going to see you in that video. Let's go.